G'day, Mr. Kane here again, and we're going to have a look at uh, our planet. It's one of my favourite photos taken by one of the astronauts on the uh, Apollo missions to the moon, looking back at our planet, <coughs> henceforth known as the blue planet. Look at the colour you see the most of. Now, through the uh, marvels of modern technology, we are able to take all the satellite photos taken of the planet in daylight with no cloud cover and stitch them all together and this is what we see and what do we see the most of? We see the most of blue stuff everywhere and that's what we are going to be talking about today a bit of stuff about hydrology or the study of water but first we are going to look at the planet and it is a collection of spheres we have got the uh, sphere of the earth but we have the atmosphere, the geosphere, the biosphere, hydrosphere and cryosphere. So we're going to look at how they, what they are all about and how they interlink. But today's focus will be primarily on the hydrosphere. So we'll get to that soon. So the geosphere. That's the solid bit, the bit you walk on, the bit we stand on and down into the centre of the earth, the solid stuff. So we look at the interior. And we've got all these layers. We've got the crust that we're standing on, the mantle below that, and then the core in the middle. We know they're there because of the reactions of uh, earthquake waves. As they go through, some things they pass through, some things they bounce off. So we know what's, what layers they are and what, roughly where the boundaries are. The mantle we see evidence of uh, through volcanic action as well. And we've got an idea of what sizes they are as well. The crust that we, we live on is the thinnest layer and we really list live on the surface. We've only gone down a few kilometres into it, so the rest is, is really mostly a mystery. The atmosphere. It's, you know, it's what you're breathing right now. and It is a really thin layer, so the crust is really thin and the atmosphere is really thin around the earth. We, we live in a, a really thin part of the planet, there's not much that supports life really look at the whole big scheme of things so how is it made up well we're in the bottom part of it if you go above about 10 kilometers what is there isn't going to support us at all so we really have to stay in the bottom part so what are these layers that we have in the atmosphere okay what do we got so we have four layers there Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. So the troposphere is where we hang out. That's in the very bottom. And layer of air closest to the ground within the first 10 to 12 kilometers. And that's where you find all the life that lives on the planet and the weather that happens to us as well. Next layer up, stratosphere. It's where the planes will fly and they get above the weather here. So next layer above the troposphere, it's about 40k thick. So up it goes. So do I wrong? 10 to 12, 10 to 25k thick. Okay. And that's the key part of the stratosphere. Ozone layer protects us from harmful sunlight. So here in New Zealand, it's a pretty clean air, and we still have trouble with the thinness in the ozone layer. So you've got to watch the old sunburn. The mesosphere. That's really sort of the outest, outest part of where you can detect detectable atmosphere out into space. So it's above the stratosphere, 25 to 100 k up. So it really is the upper limits of the atmosphere. And this is where all the meteors burn up. When you're looking up and seeing those shooting stars at night, this is where that happens. So it is kind of a useful protective layer as well. So it stops them from banging into us. Okay, the biosphere, the layer of life, so the whole planet, the biosphere, that's all the ecosystems that we've got put together, all the different biomes and ecosystems, everything, all the living stuff is in the biosphere. And it's really not much of the planet. You know, the little bit of the top of the crust up into the, the top part of the troposphere is where we find the life. So from a few kilometres down to about 10 to 12 kilometres up, so that's a layer around the planet of about, or let's say, 15 kilometres that supports life. Different biomes there, 
the roses got a bit fuzzy when I, I blew it up, but different biomes or you know, coniferous forest, deciduous forest, deserts, grasslands, rainforest, that's what we have here in New Zealand, rainforest mostly, tundra, shrublands, different biomes or types of life ecosystems around the planet. Since we're talking about water, here are the two main water biomes, the marine biome and the freshwater one. Frozen water, okay. Right, now we're to the hydrosphere. This is the water that we have. It's above the ground, up in the atmosphere, in the uh, troposphere, on the ground, lakes and rivers, and it's below the ground, the uh, aquifers beneath our feet. And there we have it, our blue planet, and the water that's on it. Hope that was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.